Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about Linux and why so many people use Linux when doing server-side work. So let's get into it. So that was pretty much the question in question. Why is it such a popular operating system for server-side developers? So I'm just going to get into it. The, there are many reasons as to why people like to use Linux, but I would argue that one of the main ones is because of how well the terminal or the shell is developed within the Linux distributions that we, most of us actually use. Now, why do you, why would that be important? Well, the brass simple reason is that most of the work that you're gonna do when you do anything that has to do with operations or if you're working with cloud solutions or you're doing anything like that, most of this stuff is going to, it, it's, it is possible to get by without lo knowing the Linux shell and the different commands that are found on that operating system, but it, it is a little bit of a stretch. It's very, very likely that you will at some point need these different commands in order to do what it is that you want to do right. It's possible for people who use Windows as an operating system to do sort of the same sort of things, right? It is possible for you to get by using that operating system, but it requires you to be you need a very specific setup in order to do that. Like if you're working with Azure or something like that. But most of the cloud providers are going to provide you with an environment that is based on some type of Linux distribution. So for a lot of developers, this makes it very convenient to just to use Linux as the operating system of choice for even, even for their development because it is the closest thing to what's going to be used when they're then running in production. And I mean, it's not, it's of course not just about that. Quite a lot of people use it for different reasons, some for political reasons and some people just like, you know, the slim down. I mean, it's, so, it's uh, free of charge. Like there's tons of different reasons as to why you want to use it. But this is one of those things that I think is what makes it a good fit for developers who are going to do some type of uh, server-side work. It is, yeah, I don't really, uh, I can't really tell you all that much more. I mean, it's very nice to be able to just use the same set of tools and the same sort of setup throughout whatever you're doing. So it doesn't matter if you're doing work on your local computer or if you're going to do work on a remote environment where you need to, you know, you need to connect to that environment and run some commands or do something like that, right? So I, I will argue that that is the main reason as to why people pick Linux over Windows or anything like that. Now, I want to say to, to be clear here that you can absolutely use both. I mean, if you're a Windows person and you do, your, you do your development on Windows, that's fine, but it's very likely that you're going to have to use something like Sidewin or like whatever, however it's pronounced to connect to these remote environments. And maybe that's fine, but for quite a lot of people, it's it, it's more empowering and simpler to not have to switch context and so forth and simply just use Linux directly. So what I want you to take away from this is pretty much that the reason, I will argue that quite a lot of server-side developers use Linux as a first, one of the first choices that they have is because it reflects the same tools and the same well, the same operating system pretty much as what's going to be used when they're running their infrastructure or if they're running something in the cloud. This is, it becomes less and less of an issue with the adoption of Docker and container-based development, but it is still quite popular to use Linux as the main environment for virtual machines and cloud solutions and so forth and so forth, which makes it a very good choice if you're going to do server-side development. Have a great day.